Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time, how they feel about you, what are their intentions towards you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Capricorn watching and not every reading here on my channel is going to resonate for you. So we'll start with the main energies here in your connection. Using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck here, I'm still obsessed. So if you'd like to grab this deck, then the link is in the description box. All right, for Capricorn. Main Energy Spirit regarding the connection that Capricorn has with this other person. What do we need to know about the main energies in this connection? Well, that was way too many. What do we need to know about the main energy in this connection? What is the main energy? Coming together. Destiny has brought you together. Beautiful. Hmm. Got burdened heart at the bottom. Difficulty, overwhelmed, tired. Burdens weigh heavy on the heart. So someone could be carrying some sort of burden here. I don't think it's going to keep you from coming together. I have reunion, fate, romantic feelings. Destiny has brought you together. So I think there's still something here that's going to take place um, regardless of whatever burdens there are. So I'm going to set down all of the Oracle cards. So what are their true intentions towards Capricorn? I'm using the Soul's Journey Lesson cards here. All of the cards that I'm using are linked down below. What are their true intentions or feelings towards Capricorn? What are their true intentions or feelings towards Capricorn? Spirit? Regret. I know that I cannot change the past and growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So I just did Virgo's reading. It was very similar energy there. Um, regret over the past and then they still want to manifest something. So I feel like this is kind of a similar energy for you and this person. They probably have regrets over the past and want to grow something with you. Make something uh, happen here. So imagination at the bottom of the deck. Definitely like manifesting type energy. So what is the energy that they're bringing into this connection? What actions will they take towards Capricorn? What's the energy they're bringing to this connection? What's the energy they're bringing to this connection? What actions will they take towards Capricorn? What actions will they take towards Capricorn? Or what is the main energy that they're bringing to this connection? What potential actions or energy they're bringing to this connection? Ride the wave. Love it. So I'm going to read that one real quick. Number 14. You can be assured that you're entering a time when you can ride the wave of abundance. The tide has turned and you can put your surfing skills to the test. Everything that you know, your talents coupled with your hopes and dreams will carry you forward. People and circumstances have come out of the ocean of potential and possibility to take shape in a wave of spectacular activity. Know that you're definitely on the right path. Definitely. I love that energy. I feel like your person, um, they, they know what they have to do. They want to ride this wave of opportunity. And I feel like it's going to motivate them to take action in some ways. Uh, wave of spectacular activity. The tide has turned. Right now, success is e easy and effortless. So, you know, they're motivated. And I feel like there's nothing holding them back. So let's get into the tarot here. Once again, this reading will not resonate with everyone watching. Just because you're watching this reading does not mean that it is meant for you. So don't try to make it fit, but take what resonates and check out your other placements if they're more prominent in your chart. In case it doesn't resonate at all, you can check back next week for Capricorn. Let's we'll start with the main energies here. For Capricorn in love. 
regarding the person they are thinking about or in a connection with at this time. Alright, tell me more about the main energies here for Capricorn. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, or subscribed. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy the readings, please consider liking the video and subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and it's free. And if this is resonating at all, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know how it's resonating for you because I love hearing how the readings resonate. Eight of Pentacles and the Sun Reversed. Eight of Pentacles, this is all work, effort, focus. The Sun Reversed, delayed happiness, um, cloudiness, something that's not successful, but Usually the sun reverse is still, it's, it means it's still going to happen. There's just probably some sort of block or delay. Bottom of the deck, the magician, definitely. This person is thinking about manifesting, and that's kind of the energy that I picked up. <coughs> Excuse me. Every time that I light my Palo Santo, I in, like, inhale it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like there's some sort of manifesting that your person is, you know, it's like they... They're imagining a certain situation or outcome, and they're trying to figure out how to make that happen. There might be delayed um, success here or delayed happiness, but it, again, it's not keeping them from the goal. Also, for me as a reader, the sun reverse can be that something's hidden kind of beneath the clouds. So it could be that you don't know that your person's working on this. Let's see. Tell me about the sun reverse for Capricorn. Spirit, tell me about the sun reverse for Capricorn. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. This is an offer that is being worked on. Um, I feel like possibly in secret here. Or again, it's delayed because this, the Knight of Pentacles is very slow. They're very detail oriented. They take their time. They like to do things right. Um, they work smarter, not harder. And so it might be that your person's carefully working on this. Tell me more for the sun reverse. Temperance. Yeah, again, more work here. Trying to make something come into balance. Patience, moderation. Sagittarius energy here. Tell me about this eight of pentacles. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? Ten of Cups, reverse. So I feel like maybe something was very heartbreaking or upsetting in this connection. Maybe there's um, family issues. Maybe someone is resisting this. I feel like the Seven of Wands can also mean that someone is ready to fight back, fight for this connection. And there's so many meanings to all the cards, you know, but it really matters what other cards are in the in the spread. And I have here, it's it's almost like even if something has been difficult, uh, upsetting, heartbreaking, emotionally depleting, um, I feel like someone's still standing their ground here. They're not giving up is basically what I'm picking up here. Now, if you want to know what all of the cards mean for love, I just wrote any, a, a whole book on it, <laughs> uh, Love Tarot Made Easy. I'll have a link down below. And I went through all 78 cards uh, and how you can interpret them for love upright and reverse. So if you want to do your own love readings at home or you want to do some more research on the readings that you see here, then check out my ebook. Um, very affordable and you can... Wow, the lovers reverse. You can um, read the book on your phone, on your tablet, on your Kindle, etc. The lovers reverse, Gemini energy. This is this is a card about regretting a choice when it's reversed. It could also mean that there could be a separate. There could have been a separation here in the past. Um, five of Wands reverse. This is a fight. The fighting is over. The fighting is done. I feel like this happened in the past. 
But the lovers upright is about a choice between what your mind is telling you, what your heart is telling you. And so when it's reversed, it could be that someone made the wrong choice. But they're working on this. Whether it's regret over a choice, whether it's a separation, like they're working on this. So let's see, what are their true intentions or feelings towards you? What are their true intentions or feelings towards Capricorn Spirit? What are their true intentions or feelings towards Capricorn? That one wanted to come out. There's that burden. Ten of Wands. Remember that I, t I said that there was... I'm actually going to take it out of here. Burdened heart. Difficulty, overwhelmed, tired. Burdens weigh heavy on the heart. So I'm going to put that over here because I feel like that card is like a sign for me <laughs> to, to put it up there because it's... That's exactly what's going on here. There, there's burdened a burdened heart for your person. There's burdens that are weighing heavy on them. That's affecting uh, how they view this connection. Tell me more about their true feelings or intentions towards Capricorn. Maybe there's a lot of baggage here. A lot that has happened. Two of Swords reversed. What else? Oh, the moon just came out. See what I'm saying? The moon, the sun reversed. I feel like there's something that's not out in the open here. Tell me more about their true feelings or intentions towards Capricorn. True feelings or intentions. Page of Cups reversed. Heartbreak, disappointment, delayed messages, blocked messages. This is all about expressing how you feel. Your person's having some sort of awakening with the judgment card, um, making some sort of judgment call. Um, evaluating the past. Um, you know, I feel like this is part, partly to do with that regret card up there. It's almost like um, while they're thinking of the past, they're thinking of the decisions they made, there's regret there. There's a wanting to um, set down a burden. I feel like they've been holding on to this. So let's see, what's this 10 of wands about? What's the Ten of Wands about? Nine of Wands. Yeah, this is about kind of putting down your guard. They need to set this down, this burden, whatever this is. Let me get some more cards. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. There's the Ten of Wands here. Four of Swords. Healing, reflection, uh, introspection, thinking. I want one more. I feel like there's not a lot of movement or communication here. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. I want to know if that's true. The reason I say that is because I have the Page of Cups reversed here. That could be a blocked message. Oh. So, Capricorn, you showed up in your own reading with the Devil reversed. Empress, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so I'm just going to say what I'm seeing. Some of you were married to this person, possibly had children with this person, and there was some sort of separation or the situation turned unhealthy. Um, others of you, your person has a burden of another family or another commitment or some sort of um, family situation here. I'm not going to take all of these, but I wanted to look at them. They need to break free from this. There's possibly financial difficulty, but I'm seeing this like as a family, a family situation that's not really going right here. Can I get one more for this Ten of Wands? One more card, please, for this Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is definitely like a family situation gone wrong. A lack of harmony, lack of balance, um, whether it's with you or someone else. And this is a burden on your person. Two of Swords Reverse. Why is it Two of Swords Reverse? 
This is one of those cards that can mean very different things. Reverse. Four of Pentacles reverse. Letting go. Holding on. Tell me more about this Two of Swords reverse. So the Four of Pentacles reverse is also one of those cards. It can mean, for example, these two cards can mean that you are holding on to the fact that you're undecided or holding on to something or releasing, making a decision or releasing what you're holding on to. Tell me about the Two of Swords reverse. So I feel like they're going to let go of whatever they're holding on to here, whatever has been undecided, because they know what they want with the Nine of Cups. They're thinking of emotional fulfillment of a wish being granted. I feel like this is going to be surprising. I have the tower here at the bottom of the deck. Their wish is going to surprise you. Either whatever their wish is or their wish being granted is going to cause a tower moment, which is going to be very shocking. Tell me about the Page of Cups reverse. Here's the Page of Cups reverse. Two of Pentacles. Back and forth, back and forth. I feel like your person is like, they go, they, yeah, wow, Ace of Cups. Back and forth about whether they should tell you how they feel or express themselves or not. Back and forth about whether to end a situation, to let go of a burden, or continue on this path. There's a tower again. I feel they're going to cause a tower by what they reveal, what they say, what they do here with the King of Swords. When are we going to see this coming? So tell me about potential actions or energy they're bringing to this connection. Potential actions or energy to bring into this connection with Capricorn Spirit. Did I knock on this? Deck? Potential actions or energy that they're bringing to this connection with Capricorn. Potential actions. Hermit, Virgo energy. Not a lot of action there, but a lot of thinking, reflecting. Again, with the thinking and the reflecting. Again, with the two of whatever, you know, a choice, a path needing to be chosen here. Be careful, though, because this two of wands could also be someone that wants to have their, their cake and, and eat it, too. You know, it's like wherever they are, they still have a wandering eye about what else they can get. You know, planning, wanting to venture out there. Potential actions or energy that they're bringing to this connection spirit thank you three of pentacles reverse so i don't really see a lot of action here i see someone thinking i see someone uh, maybe seeing that something isn't working or that is in a third party situation that's not working out tell me about the hermit what are they thinking about here? Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Well, this could be you for sure, Capricorn. They could be thinking about stability, commitment. Queen of Swords just wanted to pop out there. Tell me about the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here? Chariot Reverse. Feeling stuck, um, unable to move. Cancer energy there. Yeah, stuck for sure. Look what's at the bottom. Eight of Swords. So maybe they're stuck in a commitment or maybe they're stuck and are only able to think about you, not move towards you. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Wow, Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Big changes happening here. Big changes with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, I have a lot of cards here, sorry. It's kind of a mess, but let's see if I can move these over a little. Big changes with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, whatever momentum this is, is, this is right the way right here. Whatever momentum this is, I feel like your person, once they make the decision, it's like full speed ahead. 
Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. What is this about? The world. Holy crap. Who had this? Virgo. Virgo. This was on their, um, their person's feelings or intentions. They had the wheel and the world. This is huge. Huge movement. Like, this is just complete turnaround. Like, complete turnaround here. New cycle. Divine timing, faded energy here, which by the way, I have fate in this card as well coming together. So what's this three of pentacles reverse doing here? What's this three of pentacles reverse doing here? Oops. I'm not taking it. What's this three of pentacles reverse doing down here? Wow. Ace of Pentacles, new opportunity. What's this Three of Pentacles reverse? Making an offer. So what's this Three of Pentacles? King of Pentacles. Eight of Wands, reverse magician. Once again, it's like they're manifesting, but something is blocking. Three of Pentacles reverse, Eight of Wands reverse. Can I get one more for this Three of Pentacles reverse? Ah, Seven of Swords. You, If you're dealing with a Virgo, go watch that reading. They got a lot of these same cards. Full reverse. A lot of risk here. If this is a third party situation where there's some sort of interference, whether it's fear, money, family, partners, par other partners, whatever it is, I feel like someone here wants to kind of sneak away, avoid the, the drama, avoid the, the conflict, try to be strategic about this, about making this happen. But I mean, it's very risky for your person. 